not a makeup expert by any means. I'm just a girl who is wanting to be a bit more sustainable, a bit more eco-conscious, a bit more clean in her beauty routine. And so I've been trying to clean out my beauty products over time into more uh, eco-conscious, clean beauty options. And it's been difficult to find a foundation. I feel like foundation, mascara, and powder are really, really hard for me to find. But I have high hopes because RMS, my favorite concealer, has just come out with the same kind of concealer. Mm, what's that called? Mix? No, it's not mix. The same kind of concealer. I want to say potion, but it's not potion. It's like, uh, anyway, I'll think about it. Anyway, it's the same kind as the concealer. It's called the RMS Beauty Uncover Up Cream Foundation, and I am so excited to give this a try. I have been patiently, not so patiently, waiting for my previous foundation to run out so that I can run out and get this. And finally it did the other day, so I went the same day and picked this up. And so I thought it might be helpful to show you my first experience, just like as an amateur everyday girl, putting on her face makeup. So this foundation was $54, and I actually feel like that was reasonable because the pot that it comes in is huge. I got it in the shade 11, which is different from my concealer shade. That's 00, but I feel like concealer is supposed to be a bit lighter, and then this is supposed to be a bit more darker. So like I tried it on my wrist, and it felt really good. Uh, the thing that I'm looking for in a foundation is full coverage, and I feel like Clean Beauty doesn't really cover that very well. Like everything that I try is like sheer or like uh, glossy, and I don't really want that. I want more of like a full coverage, maybe a little bit matte. I know that this one isn't, but something that's just gonna like cover up my zits, cover up my acne scars, and you know, leave me feeling good, ready to conquer the day. <laughs> so here it is, I think it has such cute packaging, it's the same as the uh, concealer, it's really nice and sturdy, the top is like a plastic top, and then this is the glass like casing that it's in, and then you open it up, ooh, and there's the foundation inside. It feels very like, oh yeah, it's easy to blend in your hand. The thing that I'm worried about is that it's gonna be a bit too glossy, a bit too oily, which I don't want, but I feel like because of the consistency, it's gonna be really good coverage, and that kind of weighs out for me over like the glossy finish versus the matte finish. I've already like grabbed this on my hand, but <laughs> I was gonna read off the back of some of the ingredients. It's, the main ingredient is jojoba seed oil, and there's like castor oil, meadow foam, uh, beeswax, so it's not vegan, coconut oil, um, and then a bunch of other herbs and such um, that I'm sure that you can find out on their website. But it's interesting, it says, the luxurious complexion loving foundation blends flawlessly into skin for a youthful dewy finish. And it says that it allows for buildable coverage without the weight, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, it also comes with a spatula, but I think I put that somewhere else because I had kind of already opened the package. Also, my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready now. So I wanted to give you like a real life, hey, I'm getting ready <laughs> kind of situation. You know what I mean? All right, so I grabbed my Well People eyeshadow just because it has a nice big mirror. And I'm gonna try this for the first time. So normally I just kinda like splotch my foundation all over my face and then rub it in after that. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, it feels really nice, actually. It feels just like a creamier, more blendable option to the concealer. It's like if you took the concealer and just rubbed it all over your face, but maybe a bit less oily. That's what it feels like currently, but ooh, look at that coverage. Wow, it's actually got good coverage. This is also like the perfect shade for my skin. Can you see my cheek compared to this cheek? That's crazy. Wow. It does feel a bit oily, which not a huge fan of, but like, what are you gonna do? If it covers those zits, what are you gonna do? I always like to blend my foundation with my fingers, mostly because it's easy, <laughs> also because I think it gives like a more natural finish, which I really like. I'm pleased with this. I wouldn't say full coverage, but I feel like it has the opportunity to be able to like build the coverage. So maybe do like a couple layers of it. And then I don't know, like once I put powder and concealer on, it might be like exactly what I need. The big thing for me is like, I live in Florida, so it's very humid in the summer. And I don't want it to just like wipe off my face, you know, with the first like touch of outside heat wave air. 
but overall I like it. It feels really nice. It does feel a bit like, I don't want to say tacky, but like my finger's a bit sticky. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Cool. I think it looks nice. It feels very natural, but also like it's covering the things that I want covered, which is good. So I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll get back with you for like my final thoughts on what I'm thinking about this look. Okay, so it's actually been a few days now since I filmed last and I ended up wearing my makeup all day and then I didn't wear makeup yesterday and then today I'm wearing it again. And so here it is, I just put it on and I actually really enjoyed it. I kind of wanted to wear it all day to like let you know exactly what I thought of it and I'm super happy with it. Um, it's not as full coverage as I was expecting. That's the only downside, but I feel like maybe if I layer it some, I need to like watch some beauty tutorials on it and see what I think. But again, this was like just my first impressions for you and to kind of let you know, and I'm definitely gonna stick with it and see how it goes. Uh, it does feel a bit greasy on my face, but I noticed that after a couple hours that kind of went away and it stayed all day long pretty much perfectly. Like I wore it into town, I did errands, and then when I got back, it was still like perfectly in place. So I'm super happy with it. I think that it is a great product and I'm looking forward to adding it to like my daily routine now and seeing what I think of it long term. Maybe I'll make like an update video. You guys will have to let me know if you're into that. But uh, again, super big fan. I think for the price point, for the amount you're getting and like how it went on easily, I think it's great. Um, I'm super excited and I hope that you enjoyed watching this and coming along with me, seeing me try on this makeup for the first time. I don't know if this is something that you enjoy. Make sure to like this video, comment down below and let me know if you've tried it. And yeah, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon in my next video. Bye.